We got some leaked news about Jordan Brand's release is set to drop in 2023. Now this isn't every single release, but we got over 20 different sneakers that we do have confirmation of. So let's go ahead and get into them. Nike Airship Tech Gray. So this colorway in particular is very, very similar to the neutral gray Air Jordan 1, or some people know it as the natural gray Air Jordan 1 from 1985. And then we saw the retro re recently, I think it was last year that retro came out. And then now we have this version coming out, which was similar to the Air Jordan 1. What do you think about this shoe? I think this shoe is amazing. To me, with the old school vibe, the original, what shoes used to look like, nice and very simple, mm -hmm. not a lot of colors, mm -hmm. craziness, the way it's built. I mean, to me, and like I said, you can see it, the, the leather look like it's just butter. I think it's a win. I think it's a good shoe. Like, I, I'm excited to see the shoe like this. <laughs> so I, I think it's a good shoe. It's a win. So you've seen my white and red pair from the Airship pack. Yes. From, the, from that pack. So yes. the leather quality on that shoe was amazing. They did mm -hmm. a really good job on the other retros when it comes to the yellow yep. pair, the blue pair, the different colors. So I think they're going to come correct when it comes to the materials on this shoe. Yep. But I think it's going to be a hard shoe to cop. And because of that, the price is gonna be expensive. So oh, for sure. if this one in particular, if you want these, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to help you if I don't get these for resale, because I think these are gonna be you know, $500, $700 or yeah, something like that. Yeah, so. I have to watch some cars. <laughs> But I'm gonna tell you like this, I feel like the shoe, if anybody purchased that shoe, it's gonna be worth it. So definitely it's a cop. Either it's way, a cop. We're both saying it's a cop. It's a cop, for so, sure. So next up on the list right here, now we got about, like I said, 20 something shoes, so we got we a lot to make go it through. Quick. Yeah. But the next on the list right here, we have the Air Jordan 1 High OG University Blue. So we've seen okay. these done multiple times, if it's called the University Blue or the UNC or the whatever. Right. There's a lot of different versions when it comes to lows, mids and highs, and then you got the SB and a the different, there's a bunch of different versions. Right. So this one in particular is something that we have seen similar to other pairs that just kind of shoe. brought that vibe to this shoe. And it's got the suede like material, right? Right, mm -hmm. so you got that on the upper with the similar color blocking, yeah. but we've already seen iterations like this. But it's still a cop. But the thing is, it's like, okay, this is very repetitive. For it somebody is. who has the other versions, like for me, example, I have all the other versions that are similar. But everybody to this. can't afford all the versions. I get that. I get if they that. If they can afford this, do you think it's gonna? Go, I don't think it's gonna go up really fast. I think the over shoe, time. right, over time. So yeah. I think people will be able to cop it right now, and then people like me will just wear it. But the other thing too is like people want the OG leather version. They can't get that. You see what I'm saying? So that's just like, they okay, don't got a thousand dollars. We got all these versions. It's like, give us the retro with the OG style, the OG cut, the OG color with the leathers and stuff. He won't cop it, I will. I'm telling <laughs> I'm you I'm gonna go after it, I'm gonna go after it. I'm definitely gonna go it's after it. It's a good looking shoe. Remember again, it doesn't have a whole bunch of like wild colors. They did real good with mm -hmm. the, the uh, color blocking. It's a good looking shoe, I'd rock it. I'm interested to see what the Wings logo looks like on the back end. I can't tell if it's like a jewel, cause they've done that before oh, yeah, with the yeah, jewel yeah, style, yeah. or if it's more of like a plastic or metal style kind of piece on there with the yeah. silver wings logo. So Hopefully I think it's gonna plastic. be a solid shoe overall. I think it's definitely gonna be one of those, it's gonna be on the cop list, but, but uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be like the top Air Jordan one of the year or anything. No, like no, that. no, no, it's not gonna be no top, but yeah. I think it's a good shoe. I think people will get it and check up it. Definitely a solid pickup for sure, yeah. to say the least. Let us know what you guys think down below in the comment yeah. section yeah. as well. Next up right here, we have the Air Jordan 2 Low University Blue. So we're seeing that same kind of vibe with the UNC colors kind of coming around. So this one right here, these are clean. So here's what happened is. These are clean. If these don't come out of the 14, <laughs> these are so clean. No, this is definitely a cop. It's a clean looking shoe. Fire. It's the whole thing. It's like the leather Fire. look cool. The color scheme is good. Front to back, it's a great looking shoe. So we've seen something similar like this before in I the still past. Like, I'll put, put some but blue laces in there though. it's been a long time since we've seen something like this and it yeah. had more of the navy hits and different things like that on there. Yeah. So for me, this colorway, <laughs> these are clean. This like, is gonna sell out fast, it. and I think you should hurry up and get it. And it's, it's, they're obviously pushing the agenda for the Air Jordan 2s and creating the hype yeah. around it and everything like that. But to see the low top twos, the low top like is killing it. Interesting how people have the hype in there. <laughs> they might even say, "Oh, you're a hype beast." Da, 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 no, you like I'm like, bro, I've been no. had twos in my collection many a year. No, like, this I got two low right here is but a good these, two. These are fire. This is a good nice two. shoe. Definitely yeah. a really nice shoe. Well yeah. worth the cop, I think. And I feel like for some reason, I think they're gonna do a nice job when it comes to materials on these. I hope they don't do that plasticky. Well, it looks like it's pretty yeah, good. It looks like it's, it's solid. got that leather look. This but look, that I don't looks know. really, really we clean. We shall see. It might be a Photoshop as well. Next up right here is this one right here, the Air Jordan 12 
brilliant orange. 12s now, is hard though. Now this, now y'all know I'm not an orange type of guy. I, I, you know, I'm more of a Go Ducks type of guy. But these right here, I don't know if you remember, but you remember the DJ Augustine Jordan 12 PE? He liked them because it said DJ. Right, remember, uh, <laughs> remember the black right. suede with the yes, orange on them? Yes. And they were size 12, so I ended up getting rid of them. And I was like, I didn't like orange anyways, right. but I really did like that shoe. Like I was like, these you are like actually the clean. Shoes, just no orange. So these remind me of those. Yeah. And I think for that reason, I might consider copping again. But at the same time, I'm like, it's, it's a the good, orange. It's a good Halloween shoe. It's a, it's a clean shoe. It is a clean it's shoe. It's a clean shoe. But I don't wear enough orange. That's what I, I don't know. It's, orange is hard. And love some people love it. They're like, yo, you're tripping. Like, I wear orange Ooh, with a lot of things. If anybody <laughs> like orange like that and you love it, give me a like or a comment. Tell me how, why. Cause I'm still trying to figure out how you match stuff up with orange. Yeah, I get it. No, it's it's a it's a fall color. You know what I'm saying? You can miss it with a Halloween. With a you got things. one month. <laughs> <laughs> you got about a month to wear them shoes. All right, so next up right here, we have the Air Jordan 6 Craft. So these right here, remember the low top ones Ooh, I just showed you not clean. that long ago? The low top with the leather yeah. with the gold and it was a Chinese yeah. New Year. Now this is like the suede upper, this real light, great. gold is, hits, no. the nice accents on it. This right these here are is clean. a win. <laughs> this is a win. This is a win, just for short cop. Only problem is, you gotta be selective when you wear them because it's all a lot of white. No, that's why it's just. Gonna Even be... when you're driving on the hill, I hate when you're driving on the hill and you get yeah. that. Because they got, look at where the hill is at. It's white. White, I know. It's right know. on the edge. And even if you just touch the shoe with the hands, like, <laughs> we should just pull up on people with cheat like, on hands. Let me see those. <laughs> I'll be burnt. <laughs> oh, I'll be so bad. So no, good luck this shoot. is definitely going to be a cop on our list. Let us know what yeah. you guys think about these down below in the no comment section. In those. Also, if there's anything that I missed on the list, because some of these didn't have actual images. So I make sure in the description of this video that I have all the QR codes and everything that you need to know for everything when it comes to the sneakers. I don't know why I said QR codes, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the color style codes and everything like that. I have all that stuff down below in the comment section, down in the description of the video. So let's yeah. take it to the next shoe, right? Right here we have the Air Jordan 2 Low White Cement. So similar to the UNC, they did good with that one. Neutral kind of gray color, easy, white, clean, simple. Easy to wear. I think again, cop, cop, and you can drive. Look it, they got the gray on the L right bit, there. The, the white is you can drive. Just don't tilt the foot too far. So honestly, I feel like they took the image from the last one that was UNC, and then they just made it black and white and took the. But I still rock the gray laces, and, the silver gray laces with yeah. those. With the no, nah, this, ah, yeah, these are fire. So I think. This is gonna be another cop on the list. Something, it yeah. sounds like there's a lot of cops already that were, Yeah. Damn, we about to be. Unfortunately. Copping a lot of kicks per usual. If y'all ain't never noticed, he buys shoes every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not every day. I buy more shoes than the days in a month for per sure, month. For sure, for sure. Per month, so it may yeah. not be every day, but it's like, oh, I got If you miss a day, you're gonna, like, gotta, you're gonna make, make up, up for it. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up right here, we have the Air Jordan 13. They call it the Chicago, we call it the Cherry, you name it, whatever you want to call it. I already know you know these right here. Let me see. Oh, these is, oh, <laughs> oh so we got another cop right here. These you cannot go wrong. If you don't have these in your collection, you're going to be mad. Like, you should have these right here. Do you have those in your collection? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got the... Well, I got different versions. No, you but got not different versions. You got different I don't versions. have this version right here, but uh, this colorway, classic, nostalgic, OG. Right. You can never go wrong. Whenever it comes to it, these are always gonna hold their value. They're always yeah. gonna look good. They're always gonna be appreciated. Yeah. They're always gonna be. You can never go wrong. And even you. around the toe box, like there, where the, where the creasing is, it's cool. It's not bad. It's, it's not, not bad. bad. Like some of them crease real bad. These right here, you can rock. Definitely, definitely a rocker. You know? And then you got the black on the bottom. Yeah, area. you can drive in it. You can everything. Easier to rock. Don't hoop in it. The Cherry 13s, everybody wants the Cherry 12s to come back. The white with the red. Oh, yeah. Everybody's been just been waiting. It's like it's overdue. Like, what's going on? But next year is the year They'll of the Jordan 8. You know what I'm saying? This is the year of the Jordan uh, 7. Two. So the next year is the year yeah. of the Jordan 8. So we'll see how it goes. But I don't know. We don't know. This isn't everything that's coming out. This I there. don't do. So this right here is the AJKO. This is the purple joint right here. Black and purple. I like purple colored shoes, but when it comes to Air Jordan KOs in particular, I typically just go with the OG colorways. So for that reason, it's not a cop, but I know my mom would really love this shoe. So but this is gonna be a shoe for her for sure. It's material, it's not leather. Yeah, it's like the canvas, and then it's got just a little bit of like kind of leather. Yeah. Right here, 
on the back end. Uh, 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 uh. It's not bad though. It's cool. It's a clean shoe. But I ain't gonna rush out to get that. Cause it's the purple and it's like how the you purple gonna wear suck. It <laughs> And then, like I said, I like to be able to wipe my shoes off. I feel you. They easier to clean if you can wipe them down, right. and you can't wipe them down. I feel that. Good thing they're black. Yeah, this is true. You have to just dust them. This is true. <laughs> so this next one right here, these came out back when I was in high school, and I've been waiting. And I'm, I, I low-key thought they would never come out again. I was right. like, oh, it's never gonna come out. And I almost bought a pair from the past, but I was like, they're not really like fully wearable. Some pairs are, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, because the shoe's so old with the plastic pad, it's like cracking on the back end, separation on the front mm -hmm. end with the toe and the glue and everything. Mm -hmm. We got the Chambray Air Jordan 7s. These right here, I love these. I used to rock these all the time. Right. It's a tank. It's all black Air Jordan 7, clean, light, yeah, comfortable, you name it. Like this shoe right. is fire. You can mix it with a lot of outfits. You don't have to always be wearing no, Even the when these blue. shoes are trashed, they you can still, still wear them. Yeah, like these still look good. <laughs> like we can trash some shoes and this is one of the ones you can trash. Yes. And like you can still, still wear it. Good. And people are like, oh, them is clean. Yep. Like I've been wearing no, this I'm for two years. <laughs> <laughs> so these right here for me is a cop. Uh, yeah. You like the the Citrus Sevens that yeah. you just got last yeah. video? <laughs> Nobody see that. But go check the video. <laughs> Link down below. Like no. those and these was around that same era. Mm -hmm. So back when I was in high school and stuff. So for me, it was like very nostalgic to my time for right. my collector for me. Right. So I think yeah, the other school. collectors that can remember that time in that era you of talk cop about me. Oh, you talking about you? No, I'm just saying like that that era of yeah. collecting because yeah. even remember back then like when I was copping kicks like I was still getting stuff for you but nowhere near the amount of shoes I'm getting you now compared to back then. <laughs> <laughs> you know my budget was different. <laughs> it was way different. If y'all didn't know, I know the shoe plug. <laughs> <laughs> so right. that's either way it's a cop i love the shoe let me know right. what you guys think down below in the comment section with that one so this one right here i'm interested to see your opinion i'm interested to see this shoe in person because we saw this before in an all red vibe about like seven this or eight years ago jordan too low but a major twist on it we got the sky orange right here do not put this on your feet <laughs> <laughs> do not do this. Uh, for some reason though. No, if it was red. They had the all red one. The all red one. The did, red, it, sick. It came out in the but past. But this, do not do this. This is more like kind of like that sunset, you know, like. No, that's not you know sunset. Yeah. Let it set. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that is. <laughs> do not do this. <laughs> No. I'm interested to see how these look in person, to say the least. I'm on the fence. If I were to do this review by myself, I would say I'm on the fence. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm hey. on the fence and I want to see it in hand. Period. That's what it okay. is. I'll decide. And whenever you get them, return them. <laughs> He's like, don't get a 14 for me. Trust me. <laughs> That's what I. This is the. I will shoe. not be happy. This is this. the first shoe I'm gonna get you in a 14. Be like, rrr, rrr, rrr. And I'm gonna make you wear it. <laughs> Consolation prize. <laughs> You get all the other ones, you gotta take these. You gotta take these. <laughs> no. So this next one right here, we got the Air Jordan 4, the neutral gray. So this one right Ooh. here, similar to the cool gray 4s. Yeah, it's a little lighter. But it's the neutral gray. It looks yeah. like the material switched up a little bit on there. Um, I'm not still sure still if this soft, is 100% though. what the shoe will look like, but what I can say, it's a clean shoe. It's That's a cop. You can't go wrong that's with it. That's a wearable. Anymore. You know what I mean? I like the gray shoes. I like the whole concept. The colorways, they did a good job on that shoe. I think this shoe is really, really clean. Again, you can't go wrong with it. We know there's a lot of hype behind Air Jordan 4s right now. That's one of the number one yeah. most trending sneakers when it comes to Jordans. Really? Yeah, Jordan 4s is crazy. Uh, I'm about to make a video about affordable Air Jordan 4s. Really? And it's the most expensive- Fours? Yeah, it's the most expensive affordable sneakers. It's like, normally I do $200 and under or $250 and under. For these, I have to do like three, three fifty dollars and under. So really? like, there's barely any shoes that are like affordable when it comes to this model. The in fours? any colorway. I didn't think 4s took off like that. All the 4s that Back you have Back in the in day, nobody collection? really liked 4s. They was cool, like people like 4s. No, but I'm telling you. They were like 2s and 5s and, I mean, yeah, 5s and 9s and 3s. Everybody loved the 3s. But the 4s got skipped over kind of. So look, I'm telling you, right now, right now, they're all the fours that you have in your collection. I got a few pair. Just I can you know. guarantee you are worth five hundred to eight hundred dollars. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. I'll be having to watch him when he wears the black cat fours because he be trying to do some fishy stuff. I know people's time. like, you're wearing those. I'm like, they're just shoes. They're like, no. <laughs> anyway, all right. Next one right here we have. So this one, I'm so 
I'm torn. I hope this looks completely different what the image looks like. Right. But you got the light or wood brown Jordan 3. Now the cool gray 3s look just like this shoe, but it's like more of a tan in this version right here. And the cool gray 3 is just a gray. I can't do this. this. So for me, I'm like, hopefully this isn't what it looks like. If That's it what is. it looked like. <laughs> It looks what it looks like. Yeah, but no, no, but the thing is, so this is what happens. Right now, we're in, what, what are we in, November right now? Yeah. They're talking about fall next year, right? So right. people get color codes and they start making their mock-ups and we get these blogs doing this information and it's not 100% accurate. So we'll see okay. this, we'll okay, make I our interpretations about the sneakers. And then when the time comes, we'll see the real images and the real stuff leaking. You know, I always get my hands on stuff early and, the, A little and bit. the next thing you know, you're like, oh, this is better than the one but that we saw. But you can call them and tell them to change the design. They'll probably change it. <laughs> hey, I know what the 11s are coming out next winter, and they don't have the answers on here. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Hey, don't buy that shoe. <laughs> Anyways, light, <laughs> iron, or <laughs> these right here. They look just like the cool gray fours. Those is clean, though. But you have those already. Right? I'll wear those, too. But you see what I'm saying? It's like yeah. the same shoe. They're doing it over and over, the same thing. Just a little bit of change here. And no, there. there's nothing that's, like, changed. It's literally, like, no. the shade. Yeah, I was going to say, like, in here, the shade. And then these other ones ain't black right there. On the okay, so look. Thing. But this is what it is. In my opinion, they took the lightning fours. They took the image, and they muted all the colors, and then they gave us the example of the shoe right here. The lightning four is a yellow sneaker. They right. took that model, and then they just, like when they photoshopped it, they just said, add it, just take all color out. And they were like, this is what the shoe's gonna look like. And now it looks like cool gray fours. Right. So that's what I'm saying. We'll see these renditions right now, and then when the time comes, it may look different. They might have different color blocking on the midsole, or the materials, or something switched up, or whatever. So you think they got the Nike Air on the back? We gotta it? take Sorry. it with a grain of salt. I don't think they got Nike Air. I don't think they should have Nike Air on them. I feel like any of those retros like that should always stay Jordan branding. And then when it's like OG style, we go Nike Air, right. keep it classy. I was just wondering. So, these right here, either way, it's a cop. It's a cop, they clean. But at the same time, from a collector's If you already got the cool grades, you don't have to rush out to get these. Right. And then, you you know, you can say, hey, people just started collecting the past couple of years. Well, they missed out on the cool grades. because so it's time to get them ago. now. So it's like, well, now you got your chance. So And the price I of cool grades, they, they're not going up too crazy. Everything is going up. Really? Yeah, those cool grades is probably like four fifty five hundred dollars I, I should stop wearing those, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be rocking. No, but they crazy. remember when they came out, and I cop a bunch of pairs because right. I was like, "Oh, they're just sitting on the website." Right. So we got them, and I was like, "No problem." Like, yeah, yeah. it's crazy because they were sitting then, and everything is and now crazy cashing out. So, oh, this is what is this? The Jordan Two Soft Pink. So this is the high top Air Jordan Two Soft Pink, white with the soft pink. What do you think about these? It's a clean looking shoe for women. It's a clean shoe. I don't I'm know not, if it's a women's drop I'm, or not. No, what I'm saying is. Dudes, don't wear these yet. Here's me. It's like this specific shade is an interesting shade. But the it's a hard shade. Yeah. If you had a darker pink, dudes can rock a darker pink. Right. And and, and I got some darker pink stuff that I'll rock. Right. But that's too light. <laughs> I'm just saying it's too soft of a color. Uh, you need a stronger color on the pink. I think if they did a if they did a darker pink, mm -hmm. look like two, three shades darker, mm -hmm. I think it'd be great. Yeah. Okay, we're done with that shoe. So I'm not copping that. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 1 High OG SP Pale Vanilla. This one right here, I don't think I would go after these. No. Nope. I don't think this is a cop. Nope. One thing that I know a lot of people like is when they see the branding with the Jordan Wings logo on there, um, it just blends in too much with the shoe yeah. already, so you can't really see that distinction of the branding. Right. People like seeing that aspect because now it just looks like a pair of dunks. It right. does look like the materials is good. It looked like they did a good job on it. It looked like the materials is good on a shoe. Mm -hmm. So do not get me wrong on that. The sock liner look good. Like the the shoe looks good. Just the wrong color. I don't know if I like wear for it. For me, like, I don't. Yeah, it's not a color that I can. What are you gonna match up with it? You can't find a shirt that color. You gotta just like wear random things that go all black. Like not. Yeah, and then you got that bright shoe with all black outfit. <laughs> like I don't know if that really. You, you that's what I'm saying. Man. It's a cool shoe though. It's not like I would bash the shoe. It just is not I'm for just me. just not gonna buy it. Yeah, it's just not for me. <laughs> yeah. So this next one right here, anniversary time, big time. We got championships being won. We got 30 year anniversary. Is it 30 year anniversary? Or is it 40 year anniversary? It's 30, hey, 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 hey. 30 year anniversary. Oof. I don't know, it's been a while. Sheesh. <laughs> Anyways, no, it's 30 year anniversary. Right here we have the Air Jordan 8 playoffs. Oh yeah. You tore your pair up. Yeah, yeah. 
Like, yeah, that might be one of the shoes that this I've seen is, you tear up the most out of any of your shoes. This is one of the shoes that I rocked pretty good. Confidently rocked them. Tore and today up. was trash and I was still wearing them. Because <laughs> it was like, they're comfortable. So they're very comfortable. It's classic, I iconic, nostalgic, uh, you universal. You can hoop in it. You name it. Like, you can rock it. It's a great shoe. I love the shoe. I got the old pair. I'm definitely going after these. There's gonna be a lot of nostalgia behind this drop. I'm not sure about how the new sneakerheads are gonna feel about it when it comes to like- They don't know. You know what I'm saying? They might not care as much, which is fine because it'll make it easier for us. Either way, at the end of the day, this is definitely going to be a cop when it comes yeah, to the playoff a, Air It's a shoe you can beat up. Definitely. It's a good shoe. You can never go wrong with those. Right. Now, next up right here, we have the Jordan 5 Burgundy. Now, remember I was talking about the Citrus 7s, the Chambray 7s, right. the Burgundy 5s, the Olive 5s, different stuff like that. The Green Bean 5s, you name it, all that stuff was coming out at that time. We thought that the Burgundy 5 may never come out again. We heard about it earlier this year that it's supposed right. to come out maybe this year or next year. And now they're saying like, nah, it's coming out next fall. Like, it's coming. For sure. So I still have my pair from way back. Yeah. But it's starting to yellow a little bit on the nets and everything. They're still wearable. But I'm like, I definitely want a fresh pair of this right. shoe. So these right here. And Burgundy? The Burgundy 5s. I am not. I don't want those. These right here, to me, the materials on the old pair was amazing. But I think they're going to do a really good job on this one. And trust me, you can pull some dope fits with this shoe. I think this shoe is clean. I think it's a it's, cop. No, it's a good looking shoe. But you don't wear enough burgundy. What you mean? What are you gonna wear? What you mean? You gotta find the outfit. You don't. You wear red. You can wear a lot You're of black. Stuff. What color is my hat? It's burgundy. It's kind of burgundy. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it might go with that. I guess huh? you can wear that hat with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got one hat. <laughs> he colorblind anyways. It don't matter. Them some black shoes. Them look good. <laughs> He's like, I don't like the green. <laughs> like, bro, there's no green on the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this next one right here, I just noticed that it said GS and that's like grade school. So this is interesting because these look very, very similar to the friends and family Travis Scott 4s and that's the Coco. Cacao, no, those are whatever. Travis Scott 4s. Right. They're not very similar. They doing it in the kids though. So that way, like the adults still don't get the uh, the PE version <laughs> and they still can't have it so they only give it to the kids. But that's gonna make the parents buy it for the kids. And they just tease oh, it. Oh my kids are yep, right there. Cause they look like Travis Scott friends and family. But those do look good though. They are clean. And but your I'm, kids is gonna be all in the mud just turn up. But so I'm interested to see what the material is like. Two pair. I'm definitely interested to see what the material is like because on this image it looks like it might be like more of that canvas type material or like some different type of like suede or something. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. We shall see again when the time comes. This is just a rendition of the shoe and maybe they're like only leaking the information for it to be a kid's shoe and then later we're like oh it's an adult version too coming out so you i'm sure bring everybody's got their fingers but, crossed but they don't do that do they always just bring shoes out well not always but do they bring shoes out only in kids and never bring it out in adults they do they they do uh, kids exclusive women exclusive men exclusive there's, I thought I did oh, and then there's a lot of that are very universal as well. Yeah. But there's definitely a lot of shoes where women are complaining because they don't release it and it's only in men's sizes and they got the struggle. And then there's other ones where it's only a women's release. And then for us, like we talked about extended sizes, they don't make them in that, right? Yeah. So, and then you got the ones that's a kid's release, that exclusive I didn't kids think they did in. that. Back in the day, they, as far as I remember, they didn't do that. Yeah. Kids got shoes that adult size they just made them all yeah they'll just make it full all the way through full, full run. family yeah. run that's what they so when they call that it's like a full family size run that's what they call it so they make the baby one the kids right. one, the preschool right. the bigger youth sizes the yeah so they run the whole thing so something new i'd learned something it's new all today. depending Hopefully on the you release did too. and uh, one thing uh, also with jordan brand they have select like day or not days but releases so they'll have like in the springtime they're gonna do extended women's sizes for a special release and then they'll determine what releases are for that time and then from there you wonder have if they drop, just checking the sales and then they have the thing yeah so they have it all strategically placed out and a lot of the consumers don't even realize it but if you actually pay attention to every single release throughout the year and understand which type of release it is you'll know like which coming you would next never year. do that why would i do that <laughs> 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 Anyways, <laughs> Air Jordan 1 High OG. What is this right here? <laughs> Read it out. Uh, <laughs> he says, uh, Pro line. <laughs> I don't know. So, right here. I do construction. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. 
good. <laughs> so right here, this is similar to the Hyper Royal Jordan 1. Uh, very same materials. Everything is pretty much identical with that shoe, but just switch to the tans and the browns. I think this one compared to the other one, I think this one is better. I think the colors and the shades and the switches with the browns in the back end, is. the Jumpman, the Air Wings logo. That's being better because it's more visible. You see yes. what I'm saying? So That's between better. those two shoes alone with the Tan Jordan 1 and Tan Jordan 1, I think this one would go with a lot. Like I got This one will go more than the other one. I, I could wear it with these pants right now. This yes. whole outfit. Like I could wear that shoe right. and be completely fine. So I think this is a cop. I think this will That's be a cop for something sure. that a lot of people go after and it has similarities to like a Travis Scott Hopefully release. it sits a little bit and you can be able to cop the shoe. Yeah, we'll see. I, I think, think I think because it's similar to a Travis Scott, it's got that vibe of like right. those color tones and everything. People love the neutral, it goes with everything. Like I think because of that as well. But being able to see that Air Jordan sign, yeah. that looks good. I think people's gonna still be rocking with the shoe. Yeah. I don't, and we all know like people say Jordan 1 hype is over. Me, I still stuff. change like, it to the darker brown laces. The brown laces? That would be there? me. Okay, okay. That'd be me. I see that, I see that. That way I give that, that full in the front. Yeah. So next up right here, we have the Air Jordan 1 High OG Black Metallic Gold. So this one right here, I know you saw a little bit. You saw the tip. <laughs> ah. Look at this right here. Ah. These are so clean. I had something similar for your wedding. Yeah, you had the Jordan Brand Classic ones on. So for those that don't know, that's a, but yeah, I'm, most people know what the Jordan Brand Classic ones are. That's what he wore for my wedding. Uh, but those are kind of similar. These ones right here were like those the top clean. three ones. This was those like the inside clean. of the foot and everybody was like, man, I wish they would have did that in a full this is shoe a version. Sure, cop. It's finally here. The one complaint that I might have is what? if they did like a gold bottom compared to the black, it might look a little bit cleaner. It might make uh. it pop just a little bit more. But at the same oh, no. time, I'm not mad at it at all. See, I'm a little backwards, so yeah. I'll say keep the black on the bottom and put white laces in there. White laces? Ah, I can't do the white laces. Hey, I'll do white laces just because it'll just make it go, ah! You don't be swapping no laces ever. You When you lace them up for me, I do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, hey, on Surreal, I'll be like, DJ, can you relace my shoes for me? <laughs> Cause I'll mess it up. You know how to get them just right. I'm like, oh, yeah, I feel gotta, good now. You be having the proportions all wrong. One shoe <laughs> extra tight, the other one loose. One lace like, long like this. Like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> Walking outside looking like you're seven years old. <laughs> Let me get you right real quick. I'll be like, put your foot up here. <laughs> oh my like, God. Nah, take the shoe off. <laughs> hey, but this shoe, this shoe right here is a for sure cop. This is a good looking shoe. And you can do black or white. So or people people hate on the patent leather on the Jordan 1s. And I don't know why. It's ugly and it's terrible and all this stuff. And the other people love it. Me personally, y'all know, I got all the patent leather Jordan 1s. That the that only thing out. you got is the crease. I love these. But it's really not that bad. Like the, when you wear them, if you really think about it, it's truly not that you bad. You walk like this. A little. <laughs> duck foot walk. Yeah. But I think no, be cool. the, the crease ain't too bad. But that's the only thing I would say I worry about. So, some other low tops I got, they got that crease on them, right. I'll be getting mad. Right. Okay, so we got one more shoe left. And right here we have the Air Jordan 5 Low Chutney. So Chutney. What the Chutney, hell? Chutney. Chutney. Tell me what the two colors is on this shoe. That look like mustard. And it looks like, no, it's black and red. Black and red. And yellow? Yeah. Is it yellow or no? It's tan. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bright yellow. <laughs> I see a mustard. <laughs> now hey, it's kind of like an orange yellow. It's not though. gray poupon. But either Ooh. way, is this a cop? You just got the uh, shank. Oh, no, wait. What did you get? What shoe, What uh, five lows did you just get the other day? Oh no. Clop five lows. Ooh. You hey, forgot about those. Hey. Yuck, yuck. <laughs> that was just a random right there. <laughs> <laughs> that never made it on the video. And no, never... but you know, I get a lot of stuff that don't never make it yeah. on the video. We don't do, real quick, I know we gotta go fast, but he don't give me stuff just to make it on the video. He, I get a lot of shoes that never, y'all never see. Right. So it's not like he's doing this just to show you that. It just, <laughs> trust me on this. I, I get pretty lucky. Everybody gets laced. I always make sure everybody Yeah, everybody in the family. So, so anyway, this right this here, shoe? you know, it's questionable. I think I'll buy it though. You think so? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I like the shoe. I can't tell if it's a leather or it's like a suede, like a new nah. Book. It looks like it's almost like a new book or a suede or something. That's leather. Is it? That's leather. Okay. Either way. That's leather. I think the material might determine how I feel about the shoe. I think I will wear all black and I rock those. those? I, that's just me. 
And then just let the shoe be the statement. I think just, that's a statement shoe. You don't shoe. wear all black with everything, though. Yeah, I do. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good shoe. It's a statement shoe. It's, it looks comfortable. The vibes I like. Low tops is cool. You know? Ain't mad at that. No. It's, it's, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll rock that shoe. I feel it. I feel it. Well, it's a cop. I think that's going to be it. You got anything to say to people before we go? Like, share, and subscribe. And make sure you remember I wear a size 14. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go. <laughs> Bye. If y'all see something out there, talk to you, boy. <laughs> oh, no. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.